Hello and welcome to Blame the Dice Wargaming for this Codex Supplement Review. Now, we have to apologise, don't we Mike? Yeah, we do. Um, you have to apologise, I suppose. Well, yeah, there was a bit of a problem the last time and we something happened to the footage. I mean, it may, maybe it got a bit deleted in the editing process and yeah. So this is... So the chair of it. Yeah, this is right. So yeah, this is now take two, because we've technically already done this before, so we, we're doing it again. So we, Yeah, we sat there for what, half an hour? Oh, about it? yeah. Yes. We rabbited on. So, as the title says in the, um, for this video, it is all about supplement ultramarines. Just hold that there, and I can do all the talking. Okay. That's, do you think that's a good view of John? <laughs> Are you are you even happier? I, I am I am happy with ninety percent of that code. Yeah. I think this these things that could be better, but you know, I it you know it's it's certainly moving in the right direction. Yeah. It's mm, it's certainly some interesting flavour to ultramarines. We don't have the white scars supplement. Shall, shall I get it? Ne neither of us have white scars. We can have a, our own chapter, aren't we? Well, unless it's going to be the like a successor chapter to the White Scars. Then no, no, we just painted in, we painted silver like everybody else's successor chapter. Yeah, it seems to be the running really theme. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 what is it? The Iron Eagles. What, what? The the, Iron Skulls. The Dawn Legion. God's sake. What else is there? The why, I, why, I said this to you, why, why is it, why have they picked Iron? Because Iron's not even that strong. It'd be like Adamantium, wouldn't it? Or Ceramite. The or Cer the Ceramite Legion doesn't really roll. No, or Plasteel, which is like their made up metal, or, you know, whatever. What, whatever, whatever, GW. Right, anyway, so, um, the, the supplement, you know, how much did you pay for it from Goblin at time of print this video? I can't remember if I had to use a voucher. Was it 14? I think it was 14, 14. quick. 14 British pounds for this supplement, which is, fair. how many pages are in it? If you scoot, oh, scoot to the end, scoot to the end. 70, about 80 page? 80 page booklet for £14. You're getting 12 ultramarine specific units. One of those is the big man himself, Bobby G. Now we I'm mentioned, doing it again, I'm looking at the book, not the camera. He does love his books. Um, as, as we mentioned last time, Bobby G has taken a bit of a nerve, so he's. he's really? I think it's huge. So. Just to just to remind us all, he's now not able to re-roll all wounds. It's just ones to win, but he has dropped fifty points. Now Mike thinks that's a good thing. I think that's I, I that being re, being able to re-roll everything to win. Well, well, is, most of the time himself he's wounded on twos. Yeah, but he, he, it's about buffing everybody else, and that's the thing because he had what was it a six inch no a twelve inch <coughs> range of ultra wounds. No, you had 12 inch range of Imperial units. And Ultramarines, was it? No, Ultramarine units are 6 inches, but they still got the Imperial keyword, so they can use a 12 inch one. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Okay, imagine, okay, you got that, you've got a sniper 12 inches away, and he rolls a 1. Okay, he gets, he gets to, well, you know, my my feelings on Vindicare Assassin. You love them. Right. Was that the Death Box one? Oh, the fact that you, you were rocking two doesn't doesn't even <laughs> doesn't even no no right. Let's let's crack on because we 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 gen we tend to rabble uh, no, and digress I, way too much. No, you tend to rabble. I just tend to sort of get to the point, get right in there to the fact. That's right. And who, who mentioned Vindicares and Death Watch teams? Can you complain that he? I didn't say anything about armies. Anyway, right. So. Gilliman is he's taking a bit of a nerf, I think. He doesn't have to. No. Um Tigerius has got we think has got a free upgrade to Primaris. Yeah. So he's not he's not changed points, so he's got an extra wound um for being Primaris and all of his rules are the same. How did he survive the process though with him being as old as Calgo? Uh, maybe he died and got brought back to life again. Like seven or eight times. Maybe. Maybe he just died an extra time. Who knows? They, they, they don't really go into it. Here. No. They went into uh, it in, yeah, digressing. Yeah. Uh, Victrix, <laughs> the Victrix Guard uh, have improved a weapon skill, so their weapon skill 2, which sort of, it, it sort of falls with the sort of Yeah, they should, yeah, should be. These are the best 
best, you know, the best. The best bodyguard that the Ultramarines have to offer. They protect the characters, so they've got to be good. You know, they've got sword and shield, and they've got to intercept hit, hits, but also deal out hits with it. That's that's good for them. Um, and then Chaplain Cassius, in line with the new litanies from the Space Marines uh, Codex, he has litanies of hate, but it also knows to others, which is pretty massive, really. Right, John. What we... Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, hang on. He can recite two um, that have not already been recited by family models in the battle roll, roll uh, three up. The litany being rolled for his inspired and takes effect until the end of the battle. So he can he can cast or he can inspire two litanies, which is pretty impressive. And he's also tough as five as he's always been. Um, and we worked out he's what about ten points, eleven points, twelve points more than a regular chaplain. That is he's that's, only like is it eighty five points? Yeah. The prime one is uh, eighty two. I think it was ten points more than. Uh, it's it's not much, and for me, I think Cassius is 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 a beast for his points cost. So yeah, I think he's worth. If you think about taking a chaplain or two, seventy-seven. Guess. Cassius is eighty-five. So yeah, it's, I I think he's worth for it. for extra litany yes. on a three up. Yeah, I'd. Uh, he's going like to get plus one to wound or plus one to hit or you know whatever. It's just huge. You know, can you imagine? Sticking uh, a plus one to hit on veteran intercessors um, in rapid fire range or something, hitting on twos, like stupid amount of shots. Well, we, oh, we will, we will, uh, we will find out on Friday. Yeah, the rest, the rest of them, you know, we've kind of, um, yeah, the chapter ancient, um, the chapter champion is where the money is. Yeah, he's, he's, we, we've sort of we've discussed this quite in depth about him, and we think he. Base is not as good as the Emperor's Champion. However, you can make him as good, if not better. So, uh, if you give him some relics, you can probably buff him to a, a five or a four up save. But you know, he's got a parry. He's got, um, you know, um, he's basically rerolling everything uh, to hit and to wound on characters. And he, he's just a bit of a beast at five attacks, six on the charge. Yeah, six, seven. You get you get an extra on the champion's blade. So yeah, yeah. You take the six attacks on the relic blade, mm -hmm. and you just do the extra attack on the champion's yeah. blade. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, and it, it, in the if it's the assault doctrine, he's getting a plus uh, plus to his uh, uh, to his AP, so it's like minus three, minus four. Um, Sticking with the librarian, might heroes. Yeah, you, you can buff into high hill. This guy will be chewing through. Um, you want, I can, you've got that picture of the line. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll, this time we'll try and include an image. Yeah, so there's going to be an image here of my. Uh, what, what did we say? What, what's he called? Stilios? Yeah, Boris. The no, he's not getting called Boris the Blade. Boris the Blade. Isn't that right, Ken? Boris. 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 No! <laughs> no! He's not Boris getting, the Blade. He's not getting cut. He's Stilios. <laughs> Michael, uh, Michael Fassbender's character. Round 300. Nice. Where a lot of uh, space being characters get named from. Yeah. It's weird because it's uh, uh, generally Ultramarines are Rom Romaic, so Rom uh, Roman names, so you know, you're going Greek. Yeah. Uh, so, who was the captain? What's his name? For what? In 300. It was, um, what's his name? Um, Oh, I don't know. Gerard Butler. No, <laughs> that was Leonidas. Ger Leonid Leonidas. It, yeah. it was Artemis. Oh, was it? Yeah. Captain Eighth Artemis. A famous mm. Death Watch. Or oh, maybe some, somebody else from another particular YouTube channel. Or um, yeah. yes. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right. So the chapter champ, it can made. It can be made into more of a beast than he is, and. He, 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 he's excited Mike so much that Mike has made a model, dual weave, wielding blaze, and you'll see it in the image. So it's impressive, impressive. And I've painted a Primaris champ, a chaplain, and a Primaris librarian. Been a bit busy. Yeah. I built, I built uh, my repulsor executioner, and I have three. Mm -hmm. Two normal repulsors with all the guns, and a big heavy one. Mm. A nice gold line there. Yes. 
Definitely, definitely. Speaking about gun lines, the Tyrannic War Vets. So the last, the last thing on our little list of slight changes is the fact that uh, the Tyrannic War Vets now have the Stern Guard keyword. So I'm not sure whether that's that has changed, but we, we no, think yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely changed. Yeah. I think it has, not like we've yeah. never seen it before. Because yeah. I love these models. Yeah, Even so, though they are fine cast, it's not uh, yeah, they'll, Hopefully they'll get the plastic treatment because they, they deserve it. They can be mm. they can be really good sort of models, plastic and yeah, I will see. But the fact that you're giving Stern Guard strat, um, keyword means you can use Stern Guard only stratagems, which is which is pretty impressive. Yeah, because they've got the special issue bolters. Mm. Minus two bolters, which are minus three on tactical doctrine, which is Blasgan esque. Um so yeah, so we'll move on to the Blasgan. more Plasma. Yeah. So we'll move on to the warlord traits. I think this, the rubbish. I don't. I disagree. Yeah. I, I, there's like one. Which Paragon is, of War. You stick that on your champion. Which is what? In, it's a six. Wound rolls. Uh, unmodified wound rolls of six cause a mortal wound. That's meh. And really? It's it's a How many time? How many yeah, 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 rolling though? Yeah, but that for you, but I'm talking about the people <laughs> out there that don't roll don't roll loaded dice all the My time. My dice aren't loaded. I have a I have a infused, dice challenged. Infused with some kind of dark magic. Uh the calm under fire is good, yeah, which is that's if you've fallen back from combat. Oh, is it only fallen back? Um uh, oh sorry, yeah, so that's do uh, do not subtract one. Alright, okay, I misread that. I thought that was a you get to subtract one to hit, but no, no, no. This, they're rubbish. Yeah, they're all rubbish. Uh, obviously, you've got the edit, the edit of the codex. I'm a fan, so yeah, right? you got your refund yeah. strats on five pluses, but that's probably probably the one that you'll take the most. But yeah, in, terms, I, in terms of stratagems, though, there is there are ones that you can take more warlord traits. It's so, just one. Yeah, exemplar of the chapter. Mm. So you take a non ultramarine. Warlord straight first. You spend that CP and you take your your codex one, or you take your codex one, mm -hmm. and you take Paragon one and you shove it in the champion. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do anyway. Whether, whether, because I always take the codex one, saying that I have not run the space Marines in over a year. Unbelievable. But uh, yeah, the so relics, the relics here. I don't know. The one that stands out for most for me is the soldier's blade. So you can give this you, relic you champ. Yeah, you give it to your champ. Plus plus one strength is always always good. So it's any model with a power sword, master craft power sword, or a combat knife. Mm -hmm. You give them this, so it's a uh, plus one strength, minus four AP, two damage. Not to be sniffed at. No, you've got the halo. Mm. You've got the stand up McCrag. Yeah. So oh, right. it's a bit like the uh, custodies one. Yeah, but it's not like the it's not like you know you, you, you can improve that roll of four up now. So that that four up get gets a model back up. That's it now. That's flat. There's no three up. There's no improvement. Which like makes that. sense. So it was a bit. Yeah, you'd have a big blob of hell blasters and a chapter. Yeah, yeah a banner. A banner yeah. with the emperor ascendant, like three ups. Yeah, not not too bad. Uh, yeah, so. In terms of in terms of the relics, in terms of the special issue war gear, which which are good. Right, go on. You've got a, a relic storm bolt there, rapid fire bolt. Yeah, well, so that, it's no AP, so yeah, it, it only come into effect really when tactical doctrine is in effect. If you re-roll failed wounds. Oh, nice, nice. Or would you really want to spend a command point on a storm bolt? I don't know. Uh, depends how you build your armor. Yeah, if you're going for a static gun line. Um, then po possibly, yeah, it's it's probably beneficial. So, yeah, and the rest of, the rest of it's pretty much the usual. I think this is in was this in this is only in the this special, is the special issue. Yeah, of water so, is only in the, the supplement. As as mentioned in the previous video, you've got adamantium mantle, you've got artificia armor, you've got mastercrafted weapons, digital weapons. Uh, we're keeping mic up again. Oh. Um, so the usual stuff. So literally. But one thing that I wanted to say is that I Mike's agree. awesome. Apart from that, sorry, two things I wanted to say. Mike is awesome is the first one. The second one that ultramarines are heretics. Da, da, da. At case in point, as Mike walks off, I bring to your attention uh, there is a stratagem. 
and it says, and it says, avenge the fallen. And we all know a particular first legion chapter that has issues with the fallen. So what's the, what's this saying that um, the ultramarines are helping the fallen out? Does, Mike, does that mean that you know? Read the stratagem. Read, I, read, you know, read what he says. You know what? I don't even need to read the stratagem. That's read the, Get the Inquisition. No, read what it says. I Get Eisenhorn on the phone. Get Eisenhorn on the phone. <laughs> You're not voting for a World War II general. Uh, Use his strategy when an Ultraman unit from your army is destroyed as a result of an enemy attack. Made by an enemy unit, obviously. Sounds, <laughs> it sounds, it sounds like... Until, until the end of the battle, when resolving attacks made by an Ultraman model for... From your army against this unit, reroll once to hit. It's heresy. Yeah, if it was reroll once to hit and once to wound, you. It's okay. heresy. Right, okay. Are you happy with this codex? Yeah, I'm gonna beat you with it on Friday. Probably. Probably. Then again, I have got Death Guard and they are unpredictable. So we'll, we Can you just see. run an army that doesn't have this custom resilience for once? Because I did that and then got absolutely mashed, so no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> is that the only reason you win? Yeah, I think is so. That, is, that the only, is that the only army you're going to have? Yeah. It, well, Chaos Call is John. Better. So you've it's, got... either that, it's either that or I'll get, I'll get the, um, the stuff sorted for you for your, um, your, your, your corn army. Mm. And then I might, might do that. I might what what about that. this? Right. Turn your Chaos Space Marine. Into the zip purge. No. No, no you extra straw. Because I was gonna, I was gonna go and I may, I may do some. I may, I may do some funky stuff. We'll see. We'll see. We've, got, we've got, we've got so much stuff going on. I don't need more armies to do, Mike. I've got too much on as it I've is. I've got lots. Uh, and with you know what? With that being said, you know, I think, I think we've we've rabbited on enough. He likes the bloody codex. I think it's all right. <laughs> He's Imperial Mike. This is one of the Chaos Codex, John. That's right. You've been awesome, and this has been Blame the Dice, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.